자, 자, 중앙으로 나라. 가준다고, 중앙으로 가준다고. 나라. 네 맘대로 가자, 하지 마라. 나라. 내가 꿀꺽하게 좋아한다, 나라. 나, 저, 나 겁내 좋아한다. 니한테 한 입에 다 찍기 딱이니까, 나라. 그럼 도대체 왜 어딨는데? 아니, 줘봐라. 아, 줘봐라고. 하, 아, 또 화나게 하네. Would BTS really be BTS if they didn't totally embarrass themselves for free money, throwing away their dignity for a price that is totally like 0.01% of their wealth? Or if they didn't practically fight to the death over a bag of chips? <laughs> But before I get into that, let's talk about exactly how rich they are. Thanks to their hard work from doing music, tours, and selling all kinds of merch, including their iconic BT21 line, our faves are worth almost 100 million dollars. 100 million. That can buy a lot of instant noodles for their ramen cooker. If you don't get it, don't worry, I'll explain it soon. Basically, each member is worth around 14 million, give or take a couple million. Of course, you know, some members have more money than others. It just depends on what kind of deals and opportunities they get. So now that we all know exactly how rich they are, let's talk about how these humble kings keep forgetting they're millionaires, and let's all feel poor together. <laughs> Number one, they get super excited for free money. The first of many relatable broke moments from BTS is how they get super excited about free money. Like, for real. If you didn't know them, you'd probably think they were just regular guys. Really, really good looking regular guys. But you know, definitely not millionaires. For example, one time, when they found out the price for winning a game would be 1.4 million won, they totally flipped out. <laughs> if you guys don't know, 1.4 million won is about $1,200 in US dollars. Even though that's a lot of money for us, that's basically just pocket change for them. That's probably like the equivalent of our parents giving us like $20 for our allowance. But they're so excited by it, nobody would know they're literal millionaires. Even armies couldn't believe how cute they were for forgetting they're millionaires. Honestly, they're so precious. Another time, they found out a price they could receive for winning a competition was a voucher valued at 200,001, which comes out to like $153 in US dollars. But like, they still got excited over it and were totally in it to win. This passion for winning and their excitement for money is probably just some of the reasons they're so on top of the game right now. Number two, they joke about selling stuff to make money. Their silly behavior has all of us asking, why are they like this? Like BTS basically dominates the world and everyone loves them so much, there's no way they'll ever need to sell stuff to make money. Even though they're obviously totally kidding about selling their things to make money, it definitely makes all of us laugh along with them. Jin even joked about selling the statue from the Blood, Sweat and Tears music video. He said he was selling and asked an army to drop offers. Jin was probably kidding, but just in case he wasn't, how much y'all got saved up so we can pitch in together to buy it. <laughs> but BTS never has to worry about being broke because we'll support them in whatever they want to do forever. That's the power of ARMY. Number 3. They fight over food. Even though they're totally best friends, they will literally cut anyone who comes between them and their food. Even if that means they have to fight each other. No, really. But whatever, I guess the most important thing is that there's no knives on the table when they fight for their food. Obviously, they would never seriously hurt each other, but it is pretty ridiculous seeing them fight over food, especially when it's something like a bag of chips they're fighting over. <laughs> also, because food is so important to them, even when they're not fighting over food, they can have a mental breakdown when there isn't the type of food they want to eat. Do you guys remember when Jin couldn't find soy sauce during a V-Live stream? <laughs> He looked so upset that it was honestly a tragedy. Like, what's even the point of being rich if your house isn't fully stocked, am I right? What a tragedy. Number 4. They get excited for free food. No matter how rich they get, they will always be excited to get free food. And our boys aren't ashamed to do things for free food either. Like that time they found a vendor who was willing to give them free ice cream if they sang a song and danced. Yeah, they totally put on a free performance in exchange for free ice cream. Even though the exchange wasn't exactly fair, they were satisfied with the deal, and at least they looked good doing it. Some of us would definitely not look cool as them, but you do what you have to do for free ice cream. <laughs> Dancing isn't the only thing they do for free food either. They're not afraid to show off 100% of their egg to woo others into giving them free meals. Anyways, naturally, they're a total success when it comes to egg yo, bombing people for free food, because how could anyone say no to them? Number 5. They pretend to be poor Have you guys ever heard the saying that the rich get richer? A lot of people say this is because the rich people know how to save money and that's definitely true for our cheap boys. They boldly plotted to get the most for their money by asking for a generous portion and food. 
honestly, that's the best idea ever, and I'm definitely taking notes for the next time I go out. But there are also times that they don't need to get free stuff, and it happens purely by accident because they forgot their wallet or didn't have cash in it. In that case, another member from the group or even a crew member has to cover the payment for them. Because of that, when they do use their own money, the crew gets so shocked that they don't believe it. Number 6. They live in the closet. All the boys live in hella nice luxury apartments that everyone would literally die to even see in person. Like, Jungkook lives in an apartment that costs almost 2 million dollars, but he still films stuff in his closet. It's too precious for my heart to handle. Number 7. They love free stuff. Okay, I know we all love getting free stuff. Like honestly, who doesn't? But it's still one of the funniest things in the whole world, seeing Suga taking this free mirror from an award show. Our cutie faced king brought a 3 million dollar apartment but was so excited about a free mirror, even though he could probably buy a whole mirror factory for himself. Oh, and you know what? They're totally unashamed about taking free stuff too. Jin did say, even if you're rich, you may like free things. Just because something is free though, doesn't mean they'll 100% necessarily like it. Because they like to save money, sometimes they're just too practical. Remember that ramen cooker I mentioned earlier? When they won a ramen cooker, most of the members were super excited for it and couldn't even hide their happiness about it. But Suga wasn't really impressed by it and said that they could just cook ramen in a pot. Number 8. They'll beg for money. Whether they're joking or not, us armies will never be blessed to see a funnier sight than literal millionaires begging for money. Secure that bag, guys. <laughs> And when they're not begging, they're straight up demanding it. Seriously. Last year, Jin got an attendance award from Weavers because he's on all the time, which is incredibly awesome considering how busy the guys are. Our Worldwide Handsome posted a picture of himself holding the award and basically said he wanted the prize money instead. <laughs> Sorry Jin, even though you didn't get a cash prize, your fans are thankful that you spent all that time with us. Number 9. They're frugal. Some millionaires have their own personal hairstylists that fly with them everywhere. Even though BTS has some of the top stylists for both clothing and hair available whenever they need it, sometimes they take matters into their own hands. Oh yeah, and about scissors? You know, they're very careful to treat all of their possessions well. One time, they even argued about the proper use of scissors after Jin used kitchen scissors to cut his pants. Well, they're right though. If they're kitchen scissors, then they're meant to be cutting food, not pants. Plus, if you make the scissors dull, you'll have to buy a new one and everyone knows that the best way to stay rich is by not spending money. But actually, the most frugal member of BTS is probably Jungkook. Back in 2017, the guys voted Jungkook as a member who rarely uses his money. They said that he doesn't often pull out his wallet to help pay. Of course, at the time, he just graduated high school, so that's totally understandable. Surely, nowadays, the golden maknae is more generous towards his youngs. I mean, it's not bad to be frugal. It's a good way to live because you can also make sure people don't take advantage of you. Be like Jin and always make sure to count your change. Thank you. 10 euro. Um, Number 10. They aren't afraid to do regular things. You guys can probably think of someone that's super rich and acts super rich. Like, you can just tell they're crazy wealthy by the way they look and act. But you know, BTS is super special because even though they're so rich, they could basically walk around in 24k gold suits all day, every day, and they still don't hesitate to be normal and act like one of us. It's so awesome that they're not afraid to be crazy, weird, and very extra. Anyways guys, what do you guys think about BTS forgetting that they're so rich that they can buy their own island and name it after themselves? Why are they like this? Who knows? Well, it doesn't matter why they're like this because I'm just so glad that they are who they are. I'm sure you guys agree with me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Bye bye!